the administration, the superintendent, principals, uh, and all the staff and teachers have what they need uh, to support those students. Uh, and if there's something that, that we can do uh, from our perspective, uh, whether it's budgetary um, or policy or working with external stakeholders uh, and making sure that uh, we are advocates uh, for our students, uh, then we have been doing that uh, and we will continue to do that. Thank you. Tell us your opinion of Stephen, um, of the school resource officers. Do you think they play a valuable role in the school buildings and do you support their continued positions in the school district? Well, the school resource officers uh, can uh, provide a very important uh, support role for students and families in a school district. Uh, there are districts across the country that uh, have uh, really benefited from school resource officers. Uh, and before coming to Vermont, uh, I was working in a school district that benefited uh, very strongly, uh, very well from a school resource officer. Uh, the conversation with Winooski, uh, however, uh, is turning to whether a school resource officer is the best fit for this community uh, and whether uh, something like a school climate coach uh, or uh, other uh, coaches uh, support would be a better fit for this community. Uh, right now, uh, another school board member and I are engaged in community conversations. Uh, we've scheduled 16 hours of community conversations with our neighbors in Winooski uh, to hear from them about their thoughts about school safety uh, and what works best for the people of Winooski. Uh, as a school board member, I certainly have my own opinions, uh, but I think it's really important that we represent the views of our constituents. Uh, and that's why uh, I'm taking part in those conversations, doing a lot of careful listening. Uh, and I look forward to taking that information and also uh, surveys and other uh, feedback from staff and from most importantly students uh, and putting that together to make a recommendation to my colleagues on the board. Thank you so much. Kamal Dahal, what's your view of the school resource officers and their role in the Winooski School District? Yeah, this is an ongoing issue and I've been following uh, and attending some of the meetings uh, regarding uh, this issue. Uh, I, I feel it's uh, appropriate at this time for me at least to listen uh, to all the students uh, you know, who are raising those issues and also get the opinion uh, from parents um, and also listen to these uh, school safety uh, people's opinion as well and uh, you know, come up with a solution that uh, ensures safety but also maintains uh, an environment well everyone is uh, uh, everyone feels like uh, their privacy is maintained uh, that is a concern that is raised by some of these students uh, during our uh, m my conversations with them so uh, I I don't have a, a yes or no you know binary answer now but this is something that I would be uh, working on and I'll be uh, having more conversations uh, to reach a uh, more uh, agreed, uh, agreeable con conclusion. Thank you so much. I'm just going to remind our viewers that you could give us a call if you have any questions for the candidates for the Winiski School District. Um, we're speaking with Kamal Dahal and Stephen Berbeko who are um, both running for the school district and Alexander Yin has not joined us, but he is also running unopposed. Um, the candidates here are unopposed. They're not facing each other. They're running for unique seats. Educational initiative questions. So Burlington and Winiski had a few years um, working together on the Nellie May grant, experimenting with educational reforms at the high school. What do you think went well and what more could be done to address the need for reforming students' educational experiences. Kamal, could you answer that? Yeah, yeah. I uh, I don't have uh, you know enough uh, knowledge about this uh, program at this point to uh, say exactly what went well and what went not. I think it is this question would be more appropriately answered by someone who is currently on board. So I'm going to pass this to Stephen. Uh oh. <laughs> And uh, like, like Kamal, uh, I'm not as familiar with these programs as, as I would like to be. 
Uh, I can say that uh, external funding uh, plays a huge role in uh, ensuring that the um, administration has the resources uh, that it needs to provide the exceptional programming for our students. Uh, and so we're certainly grateful uh, to Melly May and other sources for uh, funding these programs. Um, and I'd also like to say that uh, looking into the future, uh, I would love to explore the possibility of external funding to support uh, social, um, social and emotional uh, health of our students uh, and how we can provide uh, a, a safe and um, a supportive uh, learning environment for them uh, all day, every day. Thanks so much. Let's go to, on to the uh, question regarding racial justice and opportunities for addressing racial justice in the schools and how to use the school board position to meet the challenge. And do you support the raising of the Black Lives Matter flag on the Winooski School campus? Stephen, two questions there. I, I certainly support the raising of the flag uh, that right now today, uh, the American flag, Vermont state flag and Black Lives Matter flag are all flying on the, the Winooski School Di District uh, flagpole. And I think it's entirely appropriate. Uh, I also uh, believe that the role of the school board member uh, is, uh, is critically important for this sort of work uh, that not only we're engaged, but we're seen as being supportive of uh, the district's anti-racist work uh, that I can imagine uh, for a student, uh, it's enormously meaningful to see not just their teachers, but also administrators, uh, their superintendent and the school board all facing the same direction, uh, saying the same things and doing the hard work together. Thanks so much, Kamal. Your view yeah. on social justice in the schools and the Black Lives Matter flag flying yeah, the, I think uh, certainly the first incremental steps towards uh, an ideal version of racial justice is giving voice to everyone uh, from all ethnic, racial, or linguistic backgrounds, uh, providing opportunities, equal opportunities to everyone. Um, and in fact, that's uh, one of the reason I'm running for the board uh, is to bring that representation, bring that voice, um, just a path, but I'm trying, you know, my goal is to um, get in touch uh, back to the communities that I'm representing and then bringing that voice to the board. Uh, and in regards to Black Lives Matter flag, absolutely. Uh, you know, I don't believe that that flag is a political pro protest. Uh, it's a plea for justice. And thus it, it is a human rights uh, protest and, uh, you know, certainly appropriate at school. So Kamal, you had mentioned in your opening statements the reasons that you're running. Are there particular issues um, coming in front of the board that you want to have a say on? But particular issues coming uh, from uh, uh, from a minority community. Uh, I have uh, had a few conversations uh, with the uh, students uh, group uh, from Nepalese community. Uh, and uh, they have raised some uh, issues uh, in regards to, uh, you know, uh, in regards to some of the uh, racial uh, racial issues that they see at school sporting events, uh, and some of the uh, uh, some of these, uh, even the administrators, uh, you know, overlooking those events. Uh, you know, I'm not going to mention the specifics uh, of the teachers or uh, the students who made those claims. But uh, what I've learned uh, from a lot of uh, people is they get that sense, they get that feeling that they are not treated equally. Mm -hmm. So uh, my goal is to, to you know, uh, bring that uh, awareness to the board and then uh, seek towards, uh, you know, policies and programs that can um, that can bring more equitable um, uh, equitable educational programs to everyone, um, even if uh, they are from a different linguistic backgrounds or different racial backgrounds. So is what you're talking about a question of programming or is it a question of something else? 
It's um, first step. What I think is, uh, you know, we have to bring awareness to what's going on. Um, not having someone from a uh, uh, from a specific community, what what it does is, there's a lot of people uh, from. I'll give you an example of Nepalese community, who uh, you know don't see themselves as uh, uh, you know because there are aren't any uh, one who speaks that language. For example, uh, they feel like uh, you know their voice would not be heard. Uh, there's no one uh, uh, that, that are directly reaching out or someone that can relate to their uh, group and then listening to them and their issues. Um, and there's other communities as well, besides the police communities who uh, get the same sense of feeling. So having someone uh, who can, who they can relate to gives uh, a space uh, for more trust and, uh, you know, uh, for opportunities for them to voice their concerns and that voice can be brought back to the board. And inform programs and policies. Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Stephen, um, your view of the biggest challenges or the particular area, areas of concern that you have that are prompting you to run for this seat? Uh, you know, Lauren Glenn, I, I'm not, prompted to run because of a sense of concerns or, or particular challenges. Uh, uh, like, like Kamal, um, I feel it's a civic duty to be supportive of, of my community in any way that I can. I, and, and I also want to do the best that I can uh, by the students in this community, by the youth. Uh, this, is, this is a path forward for, for me, um, how I can do that. Thank you. Do you want to say something, Stephen, about the construction? You had mentioned it, um, the capital improvements underway at the high school campus. And uh, do you have a status report on what's next? What can the community expect? Well, the community can expect uh, continuing updates uh, from the administration uh, about the project, uh, including uh, those great videos uh, demonstrating the progress over time, uh, even during the pandemic. Uh, and the community can also expect uh, updates from the administration on, um, on the uh, financial side of it. Uh, and uh, hopefully some, some more good news coming up soon about uh, a change that the uh, school board administration were able to uh, implement uh, that will reduce the burden for taxpayers. So reduce the cost of the bond, you mean? Or some supplemental... I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm not prepared to, to okay. talk about the specifics, unfortunately, uh, but certainly the, the community should uh, expect continuing updates uh, from the administration, uh, including uh, on the finances. Got it. Thank you. Kamal, is there anything that you would want to tell us about the capital improvements on the high school campus from your perspective? Yeah, I, I think uh, this, this question was, uh, you know, specifically... Uh, the answer for this question would be more appropriate from someone who is currently on the board. So Stephen already mentioned that there will be updates. So yeah, since I don't know enough specific to talk about the details, uh, uh, I, I don't think I would be, uh, you know, uh, utilizing my time while trying to answer this question. I understand. Would you like to um, move on then to your closing comments, Kamal Dahal? Uh, sure. Um, and you have more than 30 seconds just to Oh, thank God. I was trying to think how I can fit everything that I want to say in 30 seconds, and I've already wasted my 15 seconds. So, You're okay. uh, Good. yeah, um, well, I'm running for school board, uh, and I uh, am running, um, like I mentioned in my opening statement, uh, first and foremost, uh, to fulfill my civic duty. The opportunity of fulfilling a civil duty is something that, you know, if you're born here, you take for granted. But I've learned from my life that, you know, citizenship uh, is a very valuable thing. And, uh, um, you know, I would like to utilize uh, this opportunity. Um, and um, the second um, reason for my running uh, is to bring that representation from 
a minority community, uh, bring voices from, from the Nepalese community and other uh, smaller communities in Winooski to the board. And uh, also to uh, promote education in general. And uh, lastly, uh, what I hope uh, is if I'm able to run and if I'm, uh, you know, w with me running for the first time, uh, there will, uh, I'm tr hoping to set a path for future, uh, you know, uh, younger generation uh, to run for public of office from my community. Because uh, a lot of people I talk to, older folks and younger folks, uh, they think that uh, public office is not for them because there aren't uh, many people who look like them in that position. So, you know, they'll just uh, pass on to those opportunities. So I'm hoping that just the fact that I'm running uh, would encourage other people to do the same and get more involved uh, in public service in future. Thank you so much. Kamal Dahal is running to serve the remainder of a three-year term. And Stephen Birbeko, tell us your closing statements, please. Thanks, Florence. And I, I guess I'd, I'd want to echo uh, what Kamal said about the importance of uh, getting involved. Uh, and I'd, I'd like to encourage my neighbors in Winooski uh, to, to get involved. Uh, and whether that's um, showing up for a meeting, joining a commission or committee, uh, or running for office, uh, I, I firmly believe, really deeply believe, that we are better as a community uh, when we all pitch in together. Thank you so much. Well, I really appreciate your comments. Stephen Berbeco is running for the three-year term. He was appointed in December to the Winiski School Board and now is taking up the job in earnest. Um, he is unopposed, as is Kamal Dahal, and Alexander Yin, who is also an incumbent, is running for the two-year term unopposed. So, Winiski people, when you go to get your ballot or you go to the polling place on the 2nd of March, you will be voting for these three men and the three questions related to the school budget and the new solar roof. So I wanna thank you both for joining us. I'd like to thank everyone for watching and I hope you have a great afternoon. Stay tuned to Town Meeting TV for Town Meeting 21 coverage, including live results on the 2nd of March, starting at 7 p.m.